This is the end Beautiful friend This is the end My only friend The end Of our elaborate plans The end Of everything that stands The end No safety or surprise Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Mamo. Today we're going to look at the Bitcoin charts, we'll do some TA, look at various time frames and we'll also take a look at market cipher. So I want to start here on the two week chart, we were watching these trend lines connecting the overall lows, this one connecting the two highs here, it did act as resistance here, we were looking for it to flip into support. We did have the intersection of both these trend lines on this current two week candle. You can see we started trading below the golden pocket area when doing the fib retracement from 29k low to the 69k high. And after one last pump to 43,000, we did have this big drop down all the way down to 33,000. We have had a bounce. Currently, we are at 37,390. We did also mention on the weekly chart here, we were watching this weekly EMA ribbon and we said if we spend a whole week below this EMA ribbon, then for me that would confirm that we are in a bear market. We can see on this weekly candle, we did wick up, we didn't touch the EMA ribbon, we got extremely close here. But once we started trading below this previous wick here, down at around 40,000, it seemed to me we were close to the end of the week last week and it was going to take a lot for Bitcoin to get back into this EMA ribbon. And as I thought we we're entering a bear market, I sell half of all my cryptocurrencies at around this 39-40k area, believing that I can buy back in lower while still keeping half in in case I'm wrong and for more longer term storage. So meeting that condition, I do think we are now in a bear market. The only thing that would change my mind if we were to get back above this weekly EMA ribbon. And currently that's all the way up at 47,500. We'd also need to reclaim this golden pocket area above 44,100. But breaking these key trend lines, this EMA ribbon, and also closing below the golden pocket area, ticks all the boxes for me to say that we are now entering a bear market doesn't mean we won't have decent bounces along the way and I do think this 30k level will probably hold for some time here and whether we get this bounce here from 33k for a dead cat bounce I think eventually we will come back to that 30k base so it's all dependent on what the stock market does Bitcoin has been following the stock market quite closely currently it is down 12% so there is that potential for a stock market crash similar to in February, March of 2020 last year. So it's always good to have some capital on the side in case this does happen and you're able to pick up Bitcoin and altcoins on the cheap. But we'll have to see what happens. The Federal Reserve is making announcements today on how many interest rate hikes they will do during 2022. So we'll have to see how the stock market reacts after that news. And if it does drop further, I expect Bitcoin will also drop further. But we'll have to see how that plays out. As mentioned, the stock market's currently down 12%. We did see a nice bounce here on this candle. But there was this gap here where we did open down here at that gap. 
and so this candle has filled that gap and we can see we're currently coming back down again so bitcoin is a bit dependent on the stock market and that news at the moment looking back at the two week chart for bitcoin we can see these order blocks and these order blocks are supply and demand zones they they come from a red candle in an uptrend like this or a green candle in a downtrend like this candle here which is also inside this two week order block these levels can act as support or resistance levels when we interact with them later on in the price action we can see on this drop we did wick down pretty much to the bottom of this two week order block here and we did get this nice bounce from 33 to 37k but there is the rest of the week for this two week candle so we just have to keep an eye on this order block which is between 35.8 and 33.3k so i think we can get rid of these trend lines now and also redraw the fib levels and we can take it from overall low during that stock market crash down at approximately 4,000. And that gives us a golden pocket area between 26.7 and 28.7K. We also see that 0.5 level at 36.5K. We are currently above that level. It's just some levels to keep an eye on. And we could come all the way back down here to this golden pocket area. And just looking at the previous bull market here, this is the 2016-2017 bull run. Just putting it back on a regular chart. I've got those Fib levels drawn from the bear market low to the bull market peak. And we can see after that blow off top, we did come back down to that golden pocket area. Also below this EMA ribbon during this price action. But we can see we initially did get some bounces off this golden pocket area, some dead cat bounces giving a chance to exit if you do also believe we are in a bear market so we could see a similar thing here with us interacting with this weekly EMA ribbon and it could take quite a long time to play out so looking at our current price action if we were to do a similar thing we might spend some time bouncing off this 27 28 K area and get a few dead cat bounces here along the way it will take time to play out just some interesting areas to keep an eye on currently we are bouncing off this two week order block and still holding the 0.5 fib level and we could probably just add one more trend line connecting the overall lows here from that stock market crash this is the lowest trend line we could possibly draw we can see it does interact with that golden pocket area as we enter the march time frame and down to the weekly time frame now we've got that same trend line and the fib levels we can see on this weekly candle we are pretty much bouncing from that 0.5 fib level we do also have these order blocks these are the two week order blocks in yellow this is actually a monthly order block all the way up at 44,000. and then we do have some weekly order blocks drawn in here you can see we did come down to this weekly order block as well as that two week order block and we are closing the weekly candles above that for the time being. The next higher up order block is all the way at 42,000. We do also have this falling wedge pattern drawn in blue. We have two touches on the top, two touches on the bottom, and normally on the third touch we do break out. This is a bullish pattern. So if Bitcoin can break above this blue trend line, I would expect possibly a push higher to this two week order block and this blue weekly order block also the range where we did consolidate here this would be around 46,000 area so this could be a possible dead cat bounce here if we were to keep pushing higher get back above that weekly EMA ribbon I would flip bullish and then I would look for higher targets but there is a lot of resistance here we'll have to see how this pattern plays out we do also see that interaction with the golden pocket and the bottom of this falling wedge and also that white trend line that, that we had connecting the overall loads from that stock market crash. So that really would be max pain for Bitcoin holders if we did come all the way down here in this wedge and then get a breakout. I will just have to keep watching to see if Bitcoin can break this falling wedge pattern. Looking at the VPVR now, the amount of volume traded at certain price levels. We do see the most amount of volume. This red line was traded at 34,556. 
So there is a lot of volume here, which is currently acting as support on these wicks down. And we also see that second spike in volume higher up near that two week and that weekly order block. So if we were to get that dead cat bounce, this would possibly be an area where we would turn back down again. And we can see once we do get below around 31,000 on the VPVR, there isn't much support as we didn't spend much time trading between 20 and 30k. We do see a spike down here at 23,000 and another one at 27,000, which is also in this golden pocket. So these may be some key levels to watch later on if we are going lower. Looking at the RSI now, we are still making lower lows on the RSI while making higher lows on the price action when looking at the bodies of the candles. So there is still a possible hidden bullish divergence here. We would need quite a big move, possibly engulfing this previous red candle all the way up to 43,000. And down to the four day time frame now, we've got those same trend lines and the FIB levels. And we can see we did have these order blocks drawn in from these two red candles. And we can see once we did start trading below this order block, we had this bigger drop down. There is an order block from this green candle in this downtrend. We did also wick to that order block. That's all the way down at 34,300. So we'll be looking for this to hold as support on the four day time frame. And down to the daily time frame now. We've got the same trend lines and fib levels, also this falling wedge pattern. We have all these order blocks drawn in on the daily time frame. These are the weekly order blocks in yellow here, the two week in orange, the monthly in red. But just looking a bit closer with this falling wedge pattern and these order blocks, we can see we have had a nice bounce here. We did have an order block all the way down here at 32.8. But at the moment, we haven't closed any daily candles below this third order block from the bottom here. This here is a weekly order block. And we do have several order blocks in the current zone where we're in. We did wick up to the top here on this previous bounce, 37.6. But Bitcoin might spend some time playing these order block levels. The next order block is up at 38.4 to 39.3. We do also see the daily EMA ribbon here acting as resistance on this last push to 43k. We also touched the top of this falling wedge trend line. We also touched the daily EMA ribbon and got this big rejection back down. Currently the bottom of this ribbon is at 40,750. And looking at the stochastic RSI, it is ticking up on the daily. So we could keep moving higher here for a few more days. Looking at the RSI, we did have a bit of a falling wedge pattern drawn in here. We did go below this falling wedge and we did get back inside it. So some potential hopium for the bulls. If we are able to break above the top of this trend line and this trend line connecting the highs on the RSI corresponds to the trend line connecting the highs on the chart. So we'll need to break both of these for me to flip a little bit more bullish. If we came back and tested it as support and carried on higher, that would give me a bit more confidence and we would be battling these resistance levels. And again, we're also watching this 50 level on the RSI marked with this gray box as, as a better indication that we are going to move up on a macro scale. We saw that with the previous consolidation between 30 and 40k, that 50 level on the RSI acted as resistance. Several times we got close to it here, we came back down. And once we broke above that 50 level on the RSI, we also started going up in a macro fashion. And just comparing that drop from 30 to 40k on the left here with our current drop, looking at that same trend line connecting the overall highs. Also that 50 level marked out on the RSI with this box and the same trend line on the RSI as the chart. And we can see once we got above both of those, we did start going up on a macro level, but also have marked out the 50 day moving average in yellow, the 200 day moving average in red. We had that death cross previously back in June of last year. And we did grind out the lows here. We got above the blue slope trend line first. 
and then also above the 50 day moving average at the same time as breaking these two key levels on the RSI. If we were able to eventually come back up here to the 50 level on the RSI, first break this blue trend line on the RSI and the chart, and then also get above the 50 day moving average, which is currently at 45,300, then that would flip me bullish for a more macro move to the upside. And we could possibly look for the 618 level on the overall retracement from 69 to 33,000. And onto the Bitcoin futures chart now for CME. We've got the same trend lines and these fib levels. And we also have these gaps marked in, these gaps in the market with these yellow boxes. And we did have this gap all the way down here at 33,000. And on this drop back down, we can see we pretty much closed that gap exactly here on the line. Had a nice bounce after closing that gap. So we do have gaps further down. There is one here at 24 to 26,000 and one last one at around 19,000. These gaps don't have to get filled, but more than often they do. And again, we'll be watching for the same trend line to break on the futures chart, this blue trend line on the RSI, also on the chart pattern. Let's look at a market cipher now. This is on the four hour time frame. We can see we have crossed the zero line with this blue wave. And just looking out for a red dot, which has been, which has pretty much indicated a turnaround. These are red dots after crossing the zero line. We did drop after that red dot and also this previous one. So I think once we do get a red dot here, we'll possibly come back down on a four hour time frame. The 12 hour time frame has gotten this green dot and we are starting to move back to the upside. This money flow is still very deep in the red. The daily time frame does have another green dot here. On that previous occasion, we did get a small bounce off of that. Once we got that red dot, we did start going back down again. We have to wait a few more hours for this green dot to confirm, but we could start seeing a bounce over the next few days if this green dot is confirmed until we see a red dot on the other side. But again, that money flow is very deep in the red, much deeper than when it was during this consolidation between 30 and 40K. And again, I'll still be waiting for that weekly green dot to be absolutely certain that we're going to have a decent move on a macro scale to the upside, whether it's a dead cat bounce or a full recovery back above that weekly EMA ribbon. But I think it's going to take a few more weeks till we do see that green dot. Doesn't look to be closing off yet. And these weekly green dots have been a lot more reliable. You can see during the bear market here in 2018. This green dot did indicate this dead cat bounce, a chance to get back out, and the red dot turned it back around here. Also, this green dot here did indicate a decent move back up on a dead cat bounce. So I'll be looking for that again with the current price action when we do get that weekly green dot, possibly buy back some of my sold Bitcoin and just ride out that dead cat bounce till we do see a red dot on the other side. So I think that's about all. Again, I'll be watching this two week candle close, which is at the end of the week to close above this two week order block at 36,000. And also be watching this weekly order block, which is at around 35,000 here to hold on the weekly. And also just watching this falling wedge pattern. We have had two touches on the top and the bottom. So normally that third touch we do break out. So I'll be watching this falling wedge for a breakout if we do move to the upside. And again, watching it on the daily time frame with this blue trend line on the RSI and the price action in line with that 50 RSI level and the 50 day moving average. But the first step is trying to get above this blue trend line. We could push for it sooner or we could spend some time going sideways here consolidating as the line eventually meets up with the price. But I think that's about all. Hope you enjoyed that analysis. Thanks for watching. I'm Bitcoin Mamo. I'll see you next time. Bye.